Because it's not clickbait. It's not a clickbait. We really me. have probably one of the most exciting news that we've ever put out there on our channel since we started. So make sure you guys stay tuned for what we're going to tell you guys. You mind a talk a minute? Was this what you was planning? Be honest, you want it? Come on, get up, I want it. Hands full of innocence, touching you when I sin. Admit it, you've been with it. No witnesses committed. At first, it felt so wrong. They wanted us no more. The love we have held on. There's nothing breaking us up. Steady wanting what we want. Hold me, you're just enough. Let me take your hand and run. Fam, it's your island girls, and we are back with another video. Yes, welcome back to our channel, you guys. If you guys are new, you already know what to do. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, and also follow us on all social medias. Links will be on the screen and down below in the description. All right, guys, so before we get started, you already know the deal. You see the coldest water bottle right here next to us. Go ahead and scroll down to the description below, click the link, and mm -hmm. get yourself the most best flask out there in the market. Yes, it will yes. keep your drink cold for days or hot if you like hot drinks, but. I'm telling you guys, go and get you one of these. Use our code to get money off because who doesn't like money off? Mm -hmm. So we know you guys see the title and we know why you clicked. And yes, guys, it's not clickbait. It's not a clickbait. We really me. have probably one of the most exciting news that we've ever put out there on our channel since we started. So make sure you guys stay tuned for what we're going to tell you guys. Um, It's actually part of the question. One of you guys uh, dropped, actually a lot of y'all dropped it down and it was pretty much repetitive. So we're like... We're probably gonna save the best for last when it comes to that question, but just know that this is mm -hmm. not a clickbait, like she said. Um, but who knows? It might be in the middle of the video or the end. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of don't want to put it in the end because mm -hmm. I don't want y'all to like fast forward all the way to the yeah. end. You know what I mean? So just stay tuned, y'all. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. We're gonna do our Q and A that um, we meant to do like a couple weeks back. Um, yes. We're trust me, we're still gonna get into that, but um, we literally just started our day, y'all, and it is what time, babe? It is 1.15 in the afternoon, obviously, and um, she hasn't had her, you had your coffee, didn't you? I had it, but at like 7 a.m. I had coffee with my dad. It ain't normal if she don't have at least three coffees a day, okay? Like, it ain't <laughs> At tree least tree. two, babe. Don't, don't try and make babe, me sound that don't bad. Don't act like you're not that bad, because you really are. Anyways, y'all, we're going to get coffee, and I'm probably going to get me a, like an avocado smoothie or something. Um, I've been drinking water all day, y'all, and I need something else besides water, okay? If she's getting something else, then I need something else, too, so... Let's get going. Let's go. So this is actually like one of our favorite seasons of the year here here at home, like in the islands. And how many of you guys can guess why? Or guess what season we're talking about? Or yeah, yeah, we're not or guess talking what about season we're talking about. We're not talking about fall. We're not talking about winter. Yeah, because we only got one season here, tropical. Mm -hmm. but, but what season is it? Go ahead, baby, show them. Hold on. Let me roll down the window for y'all. Yes, you see it. Mango season, y'all. It is currently mango season. We have a whole bunch of mango growing here and there. I mean, look at how pretty they look. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat y'all. They're not quite ready yet, y'all, but in a couple of weeks they should be. And guess what? We'll still be here in a couple of weeks. So, all right, guys. So, for Riri's drink, we're going to go ahead and get Java Joe's. She likes the avocado smoothie from here. And then I'm gonna get mine just down the street. I'm actually trying out a new coffee spot, so I'll show y'all when we get there. This is the thing about having like hoop earrings when you wear a mask, it's like it's such a hassle to just take it off. But, anyways, y'all, you saw it. Babe got my avocado smoothie and But, yeah, babe, let's get going to your coffee before she starts fighting me, y'all. If I don't hurry up to get her coffee, <laughs> if I don't, let's be real, babe. babe she's that I'm crazy. Not for fight no, you. she's that crazy for her coffee. She'll fight me if I don't hurry up and start driving over there. It's only in the mornings. <laughs> We're about to be doing some TikTok videos today, y'all. So if you guys have not, we're, yes. we're new. We're new on TikTok. So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit the link. Um, if you don't want to hit the link, actually, it's not a link. Follow us. I'm gonna put our username yeah. on the screen. Follow up. Pop guys. it right here, baby. Pop it right here. So you see it. Follow up, guys, because we are so active on our TikTok. Okay, babe. So like, in instead of like going back and forth, why don't you just read out all the questions? All right. And it would just answer it, you know. All right, so first one, um, are you guys thinking of living at home or are you going back to Vegas? Of course, 
we love visiting back home y'all we're currently visiting uh we're not moving back home right. we didn't move back home um we're, we still have our place in vegas we have our car and our stuff in vegas um you know us just being able to have the opportunity to just travel whenever we want travel for as long as we want you know we take advantage of that because yes. you know when i was in the military we couldn't do that you know and uh, i'm just forever thankful thank you guys for the support because without you guys we wouldn't be able to do all this but right shout out huge shout out to yeah. you guys we definitely um love vegas and we want to live in vegas we want to raise our kids in vegas mm -hmm. or a kid however many you know children we have right. but um i think the only time i'll consider moving here back home to the islands is if like we're old and retired and yeah. our kids are grown and have their own lives mm -hmm. and everything like that or if like our parents need us like our right. parents are getting too old that they want us mm -hmm. to be there to help them and whatnot then yes. of course we we'll do that what's your favorite thing about each other by the way love you guys love, love you, you too. too and um shout out to janessa we love you too that's the girl who asked the question mm -hmm. um what did she ask uh, what's your favorite thing about each other my favorite thing about riri is that she's so like family oriented and she's so ambitious yeah there's so much like you literally just right. gave to and they said what's the most favorite thing yeah i could name so much so much and that's not me being biased because she's my wife that's literally her as an individual um but if i could choose one thing like i said baby there's so much okay but if i could choose one thing mm -hmm. that i love about her so much is that she has an amazing heart y'all like she literally has an amazing heart she don't care if you do her dirty you know she got no ounce of bad blood in her uh, she's just a very caring trust worthy person and i i love that oh thanks seriously babe. Babe, you have a, you have such a beautiful heart like and so do you your, your heart is just even when people do you dirty you don't you don't have that mindset of doing them dirty back you know like yeah. your heart is just so pure and genuine and i love that about her honestly guys i've learned to like you know as i grew and matured up i've learned to like not be bitter about things mm -hmm. but rather like just pray for that person and you know just wish them well mm -hmm. and have y'all just, just let god do his thing right have y'all ever had those like what would jesus do moments we always have those moments you know like well not always but like it, it eventually comes to us you know and we always mm -hmm. you know the old us could have done so much worse or whatever but now you know we're like what would jesus do jesus right. would just move on and pray for that you know whatever and but, that's another thing i love about riri y'all she's a god-fearing woman mm -hmm. Thanks to my wife. When I met my wife, y'all, I just got a lot, a lot, a lot more closer to God. And I thank her for that. How are you guys' mental health doing? Honestly, I feel like I've never been better. Like, my whole 29 years of living, I feel like my mental health now is a lot more healthier and just, like, top tier compared to my past years. And it's, mm -hmm. like I said, it's because I've been learning as I grow. Right. And I've been learning to be more positive, more influential, more you know just more everything like i'm trying to do things the right way i'm trying to do mm -hmm. things the godly way yeah so definitely my mental health is top tier right now mm -hmm. that's for sure as for me when it comes to mental health y'all um i never really expressed my mental health but um when back when i was in the army i never had anything like i never had no like ounce of anxiety in me but i noticed after coming back from my deployment which was back in 2016 I noticed that anxiety has been like an issue for me. I never expressed that on YouTube, but some days where we feel like taking breaks, it's really because my anxiety is like up there. You know what I mean? And um, I'm, I'm working on it. Some days are better than others, but you know, I'm working on it. I'm learning how to cope with it. I'm trying my best to cope with it. Some days are, yeah. it's, it's really difficult, but I thank God. Cause she really, she's like a huge factor when it comes to my anxiety because she literally knows how to calm me down. Um, and I also, when I, whenever I'm like having really bad anxiety, I listen to like gospel music and that that helps a lot. But um, I'm still, you know, what I'm saying I'm still, I'm still yeah, going. I'm still, still getting there. I'm trying to get used to you know coping with it and you know just trying to go with the flow. But you know, yeah. Was the age gap ever an issue in the beginning of your relationship? So for those of you who don't know, we and I are not like super like close far apart yeah. in age, but we're not super far. We're not super close. So I'm three years older than her. But no, in the beginning, um, I don't remember our age ever being um, an issue. However, I did tell Riri, if she was one year younger, like, let's say I was four years older than her, I think I wouldn't have dated her. But anyway, Joe, for me, the age has never been an issue. I feel like I'm more into, like, older women. And I'm not talking about, like, tremendously older than me. But for some reason, like, every female I found attractive or, like, I had, like, a thing for, she was either two years or older like i mean the farthest was just well the farthest is really like 
okay the farthest was probably like five years but everyone else was like two three you know what i'm saying why have y'all been m.i.a y'all good oh we're good baby we're good we're okay we're more than good because we're home with our family mm -hmm. which is another reason why we've been m.i.a because um you know we're back home spending time with our family mm -hmm. and then you guys already know the situation with the internet here so i'm yeah. not gonna explain further on that but yeah that's the reason why we've been m.i.a because in vegas we post every other day but mm -hmm. Here, it's just impossible to do that. Like I said in our last video, we, we just take advantage of helping our family, whenever, whether, whether it's helping at home, helping at the farm, helping whatever, you name it, we, we're there to help them, okay? So that's pretty much why we haven't been like picking up the camera as much, but we try to. How many kids do y'all want? So preferably, we I would, want... I would, even one y'all, I would be so blessed. Yeah. Like one kid would be blessed. But ideally, ideally maybe two. I don't mind I two. would say three. I don't mind two, two or three, one, baby. I'm just yeah. blessed to have I would a child. say three, but as we reset, even one would be yeah. so amazing. Mm -hmm. Any travel plans for this year? Definitely travel plans in the books. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't want to speak on any of it because I want it to be a surprise, but we do plan on traveling. Honestly, I want to travel to see some friends, y'all. We have not yes. seen a lot of our girls in so long, and we're just all over the damn map, okay? So definitely to see like some friends and just link yeah. up and just do. <laughs> what we used to do before you know and definitely at least one international trip hopefully out yeah. of the country yeah. do you guys plan on getting more tattoos most definitely oh. i feel like i need more tattoos on my body obviously mm -hmm. i don't want to be covered but i definitely want at least maybe like three more right so me i have currently one two three i think i have three i have three tattoos now i have one right here which i'm gonna complete i'm gonna do a whole sleeve y'all just gonna be like island girl right here okay i'm gonna do a sleeve i have my back on my back tattoo or my spinal cord tattoo i got that back in 2016 that is by far my favorite tattoo because you know it's 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 one of my favorite biblical quotes and um i do plan on at least finishing my sleeve and that'll be it y'all i feel like once i do my sleeve i'm, I'm good yeah <laughs> someone said when are you ladies gonna make us cyber aunties um soon guys soon and while we're on the topic you know a lot of these questions i've been trying to go around because i don't want to address it as the first question mm -hmm. but obviously every q a most of you guys always 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 ask about always. a baby baby riri baby treat you you guys yeah. ask so speaking of that um and this, by the way y'all this is going to be the question this is the, the the announcement we're trying to make y'all like this is official like we're going to be working on it so this is the exciting news we had for you guys um and actually deals with our baby update mm -hmm. and our yeah. baby news so yeah so excited so go ahead and tell them babe so we officially decided that this year when we get back to vegas we are gonna start the process of getting my beautiful wife pregnant y'all yes and yes. Oh don't my just gosh, i'm so excited yeah when we get to vegas don't just assume we're like getting to it right there like don't expect that month or the month after that like it's obviously gonna take some time and i'm not gonna try and like put all that pressure on you but this year y'all she may not give birth this year, but I promise you this year we both decided that we are going to get her We're pregnant. We're going to get pregnant. We're going to start the process and all that stuff. Yes. Um, and that's, you know, it hurts so me excited. to leave our family here in the islands, but we're looking forward to going back to Vegas and working on our family. So yes. we, 2023 is going to be real interesting, y'all, because we are going to have our baby. I'm, I promise I'm you that I'm excited. manifesting that on this channel. We talked about it. Um, You know, we were iffy about like the whole covid situation and this and that but it took us a while to make this decision because um we're not people that just want to like bring a baby to this world just to bring a baby we want to make sure we're financially right. ready we want to make sure we're mentally ready we want to make sure we're like in the best state possible to provide for our child and yes. you know just give them all that support so you know we feel like we're really ready but yeah yo. So yeah guys just know we obviously can't say much on it right now mm -hmm. but that's the side the exciting news a lot of you guys have been asking i think even four years back mm -hmm. like when are you guys gonna have a baby when are you guys gonna have a baby and honestly like sometimes we try to avoid it because it's like i'm not gonna lie it's a sensitive right. subject for us okay because mm -hmm. y'all know we've been wanting a baby since 2017 or maybe even before that but right. anyways we've, we're so happy to finally tell you guys that we're finally gonna get started on the process mm -hmm. once we get back to vegas yeah so that's one thing we're definitely looking forward to that's why it's gonna be bittersweet leaving because mm -hmm. we're leaving our family and like you know we're obviously gonna miss them and stuff but it's like oh my gosh we're going to vegas to actually start the process so yeah it's gonna be so exciting guys get ready we're gonna have a little mini us running around this channel yeah. pretty soon but anyways y'all like i said or like we both said um once we get there we're gonna start the process but 
don't pressure us and on posting videos about yes. it and all that stuff because like i said when we get back to vegas we have a lot of errands to catch up on we have right. a lot of things to do so we're not gonna just come on baby get you pregnant you know like like let's, land and be like okay let's go yeah you yeah know, we gotta yeah, take give care. us time but just know that yeah. this is the year whether it's beginning of the year whether it's middle year middle part of the year whether it's the ending of the year this is the mm. year we are gonna impregnate my beautiful wife yeah so we gotta obviously take care of them stuff when we get back home mm -hmm. but just know this is the year y'all y'all been asking us y'all been pressing us and just know that this is the year we're working on baby tree tree and ruby and also just know that it took us a it took us a lot to just even tell y'all about this like we were thinking of like just keeping it to ourselves and just mm -hmm. being like boom we're pregnant you know or boom you know what i'm saying but I don't know. I just felt like it was something we had to address. Yeah, and because we had to let them know. Yeah, obviously because um, you know, we just wanted to let y'all know because I know you guys are not gonna stop asking about it or mentioning it, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we just felt like it was something you guys should know because we're super excited. We could barely hold mm -hmm. them in, so I know right. you guys are gonna be excited too. So, how long do y'all plan on staying in the CNMI? Um, so that's a funny question, and I say it's funny because we're actually supposed <laughs> to be heading back. <laughs> to vegas um like the beginning of march but our parents begged us to stay a little longer y'all and um i didn't want to go back or we both didn't want to go back to vegas knowing that our family was or our parents really wanted us to stay you know i felt like if i went back to vegas and just thinking about my dad saying can you stay a little longer or my her mom saying can you stay a little longer i just feel like i'm i don't want to get that like regret feeling you know what i mean right. like we were down there we could have extended it and but we came out here and now we gotta wait for you know what i mean so yeah we were supposed to leave beginning of march y'all but um with both our parents begging us to extend we decided that we're uh, gonna stay a few more weeks here in the islands so yep that's the spiel on that it don't hurt to make more memories of our family you know so yeah so we are extending a little bit more here in the cinema not mm -hmm. too long not too much longer but just a little bit longer. right yeah I feel like we've been going for so long, babe. I feel like right now you should just ask one more question and we're gonna go ahead and yes. call this a wrap. Cause yeah, because there's honestly so many questions and this video is already getting long. So mm -hmm. the last one I'm gonna ask is, what was your favorite memory of 2021? Oh, that's a good one. That's I a like good that. one. That's a good one because when I asked this, these Q and A's on our Instagram, it was the end of, it was towards the end of the year or beginning mm -hmm. of the year, so that's why they asked that question. But that's a good question. I that's think hard. I'll start with mine. I think the highlight of 2021 for me was having a very successful surprise to our family, like. Oh, that was yeah, in and making it for our father's yes. birthday because her dad's birthday is like ending november my dad's beginning november and mm. we managed and we mind you y'all we have not it's been like 10 years since we last spent that's true um our dad's birthdays with them so that was very meaningful i, I was emotional about that um that's the highlight of my 20 yes i agree but yes hope you guys enjoyed this video the q a was kind of long on my like i feel like it was kind of long you think it was long i don't know i don't know hopefully not that was a lot of questions yeah on the camera it's long but once i like once we go in and edit i don't know how long it's gonna be but if feels pretty long mm -hmm. so we're gonna go ahead and cut it right here yes. hopefully you guys enjoyed it we hope you guys enjoyed the surprise as much as us we hope you're as excited as mm -hmm. us I'm trying to contain my excitement right now because i could like literally just get on my knees and start right. screaming you know oh glory to god for mm -hmm. for making this happen but um and i could always get emotional talking mm -hmm. about it so i'm not gonna get into that right but we're gonna say that for like when yeah. she's actually pregnant and we'll explain to just, you all our bumpy road that took us to where we're at now yeah just so. know that we will be obviously recording the whole journey mm -hmm. uh it might not get put out this year or whatever but make sure you guys stay tuned because our journey our baby journey is definitely coming right and we'll definitely be documenting that for you guys mm -hmm. and i can't wait to get started yeah so don't forget to follow us on our social media like we said at the beginning of this video um we recently started tiktok so we're gonna pop the link up right here yes. again follow us on tiktok we're new on there and we're, we're putting out content on there too so don't forget to do that um shout out of the day goes to who baby shout out of the day goes to all of you guys who participated in the q a thank yes. you so much for always you know when we ask you questions you're always there like asking us always getting involved with us yes like. and interacting sorry if we did not get to your question as always there's always going to be q and a's later in the future mm -hmm. so you can always get your questions answered eventually but yeah y'all i guess you can look forward to you know true true being pregnant or us posting a video saying we're pregnant um in the near future because y'all it's really going to come soon um we really appreciate you guys we love y'all and we'll see y'all in the next video peace and god bless 
you mind to talk a minute? Was this what you was planning? Be honest, you want it Come on, get up, I want it Hands full of innocence